Sure, got our first strike. Hope we can land this and uh, <coughs> might be a uh, dog to tuna or hold on, maybe a giant trivalli or <laughs> a barracuda. <laughs> and so. It's a long nose emperor. Thank you, Lord. Today, it's a long nose emperor. Ah. All right, folks, we're gonna cook today. I'm gonna, I'm going to cook the um, the long nose emperor fish. Our it's uh, the lo local name is uh, Dugzu. So what I'm gonna do now is um, I'll be cooking it in uh, the recipe is called uh, larang here in Cebu. It's a famous dish in Cebu. It's uh, it's somewhat like a fish soup. So here we go. I'm cooking with my eldest daughter. Hi, Brookie. Say hi. Ooh, say hi. Hi, Daddy. <laughs> hi, What fruit? This is not fruit. This is not a fruit. It's a vegetable? Yeah. What is this? Vegetable. What's the name? Yeah, it's a tomato. Di katong dogso ang akong kuha. Kato bang murag? Oh, murag ketambak bang?
All right, uh, folks, we have our um, ingredients. We have garlic, onions, the uh, spring onions. It's called iba here in our place, or in Tagalog, this is kamias. And we have lots of tomatoes. All right, so I'm gonna add one more, uh, one more thing. Uh, this is what we call here sangig. This is an herb. Um, it's somehow like uh, it's like a family of basil, or it's a local basil here. It will add aroma in our in uh, our dish today. All right, I'm gonna pick some some of its leaves. I don't know what what this. Um, I don't know how you call it near end, but uh, here it's called sangig, and we got chilies. So I'm gonna pick some chilies. This is pretty um, this is pretty hot. I don't know. It's uh, I think it's the it's uh, not the same as siling labuyo. This one is more spicy or spicier than siling labuyo All right, so our cocoa milk is ready. All right, uh, folks, this is the fish that we are going to cook. This is a long nose emperor fish, or um, locally known as dugso. The fish has been cut into pieces. This these are or this these are the head part and some of the collar the collar uh, part of the fish it's good for fish soup gathering now some i don't gathering some firewoods we're gonna cook it in a traditional way when we're not gonna cook it on gas all right All right, so I'm gonna put a little bit of oil. All right, so once the oil turns hot, I'm gonna put first the garlic. Ay. 
until it's I'm gonna press this one until it turns golden brown all right so it's now golden brown and next is the onions Next is the tomatoes. And then this uh, Iba or Kamias. And I'm gonna put the lid until and wait until the tomatoes and the kamias will turn soft. Because we're gonna press it. Alright, I think uh, the tomatoes and um, kamias are soft now, so we'll just have to do this. We'll have to press it. Tomatoes will make the soup um, turns into like a reddish or orangey color. So after this, after pressing, we have to I'll have to put some water. And we'll wait until it will boil I'm gonna put the water now. And let's wait until it boils. Right, I'm gonna put this one too, the ginger and the them of the spring onions. Okay. All right. Uh, I think it's it's now boiling, so it's time to put the fish in here. Let's wait for like 10 to 15 minutes and uh, I'll have to add this. This is uh, salted black beans. Salted black beans. I'm gonna 
add this all up now. onions and to give it an aroma I put now these uh, what we call here sangig or somehow like basil okay. Okay. let's wait for maybe just uh, five minutes and it's done There you go folks, here's our larang and it'll be paired with corn grits and um, a couple of dried fish. There you go, here's our larang and come on, let's eat. I'm gonna eat. Bye for now. Bye for now. Okay.